Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry. So without any delay, let's get into the video. Friends, first news is from Ola. Recently in Surat, Gujarat, there was floods and roads were fully loaded with water. As you can see in this video, the kids are also swimming in these floods. But suddenly, a Ola electric scooter came into the picture. A man riding Ola electric scooter in these kind of situations made everyone shocking. So this shows the capabilities of Ola electric scooter in these kind of rainy situations. So what's your opinion on this? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from Hero Motocop. We all know that Hero Motocop is going to launch their affordable electric scooter named Vida VX2 on July 1st. So this is going to be an affordable model. This will have some cost cutting elements in it. So Hero is going to provide a small LED display, a physical key and drum brakes on front as well as rear. So these are the cost cutting elements from Hero Motocop compared to Vida V2 series. So same as Vida V2 series, this VX2 will also have three variants, Light, Pro and Plus. Now one one more thing Hero Motocop has geared up to do to introduce this electric scooter at an affordable price is by introducing BAS. Yes, battery as a service. We saw this in MG electric cars. Now Hero Motocop is also adapting this BAS program and they are going to introduce this Vida VX2 electric scooter with battery as a service. That means you need to buy an electric scooter and you have to pay monthly rent for the battery which you have rented from the brand. So if Hero Motocop introduced this plan, I think the scooter cost is going to be as less as 50 to 60,000 rupees because battery of an electric scooter costs 40 to 50 percent of the price of the scooter. So, considering the price as 1 lakh rupees, the battery price is going to be 40 to 50,000 rupees. That means the scooter price is going to be 55 to 60,000 rupees. So, if Hero Moto Curb launches this electric scooter with the bass option, how many of you will show interest to buy an electric scooter by paying the rent to that battery? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from Aether. Once in a year, Aether will organize an event called Aether Community Day. So they'll invite some of their customers and fans to this event. In 2024, this event happened in April and Aether has introduced their Rista electric scooter, Aether Stack 6.0 update and Aether Halo helmets. In this 2025, Aether is going to do this event in August. So basically, they are going to introduce their new platform called EL on which they are working on affordable electric scooter model. Recently, a patent of headlight has been spied in the internet so Aether is developing some affordable models on their new EL platform and along with this Aether is also going to introduce their next generation fast chargers along with Aether Stack 7.0 updates so I think a majority of the Aether owners will be invited to this event so how many of you using Aether electric scooters please leave in the comments Next news is from TVS. TVS has achieved a 6 lakh sales milestone of iCube series. TVS has launched this TVS iCube electric scooters in India in 2020 and to achieve first 3 lakh units they took literally 4 years and the next 3 lakh units has been achieved in just 18 months. This is because of demand. The demand for latest iCube electric scooters is very high in the market. I can see a lot of iCube electric scooters running on the road compared to other brand electric scooters. TVS has gained momentum in 2020. 22 when they launched the updated iCube series and after that slowly the demand going on increasing for this iCube scooters and at the same point of time Ola scooters has started facing troubles so that has helped iCube to gain momentum and to increase their sales. From past two months TVS were in the first position in the sales list and in this June month too they are in the top position. So how many of you guys are using iCube electric scooters please let me know in the comments. I think the major reasons people to consider this iCube electric scooter are the design their range, practicality and availability. Nowadays, TVS IQ electric scooter is available even in tire 3 cities. Next news is from Tata. We all know that Tata has launched Harrier EV in India and in the launch event, they only announced the prices of the base variant but they have showcased all the top end variant features and a few days back, Tata has announced the prices of all their variants. We all know that this Tata Harrier EV is available in two battery pack variants, 65 kilowatt hour and 75 kilowatt hour. 65 kilowatt hour battery pack variants cost starts from 21.49 lakh rupees. The 75 kilowatt hour variant price starts from 25 lakh rupees and it goes till 29 
99.5 lakh rupees quad wheel drive i mean all wheel drive option is available only in top end variant which is priced at 29 lakh rupees and if you want to opt ac fast charger you have to pay 50000 rupees extra for all the variants tata has also introduced stealth edition in it and the price of that starts from 28.25 lakh rupees and goes up to 30.23 lakh rupees for quad wheel drive and ac fast charger and tata has also got five star rating in their bharat end cap crash test so considering the price of the top end variants it's directly competing with recently launched mahindra xcv 9e electric car next news is from kinetic how many of you know kinetic honda dx basically this is a moped which were produced from 1984 to 2007 so this moped is a result of partnership between kinetic and honda so basically this is a 98 cc scooter which were launched in 1984 so this was a dream and the first bike for many 90s kids but due to some reasons they have discontinued it in 2007 but now kinetic is gearing up to rebag this model in electric avatar we saw kinetic has rebacked Luna in electric avatar and that was a very good move from Kinetic. Now they are also planning to bring back this DX variant in electric avatar. A patent of the same has been filed recently. By looking at this design we can clearly see that it is a old school DX model. So how many of you will buy this variant if this gets launched in electric avatar please let me know in the comments. Next news is from Mahindra. We saw Mahindra BE6 and XCV 9E electric models from Mahindra recently. So both these electric cars are purely electric and they are made on Inglo platform which is basically designed to develop electric vehicles. But now Mahindra is planning to introduce hybrid models in these both variants. So there will be many versions in hybrid particularly Mahindra is concentrating on range extender one. So basically this exactly works like an electric vehicle but there will be an additional 1.2 liter petrol engine in it. But what will this petrol engine too so it will regenerate energy and it will recharge the battery pack of this electric car so basically it will have battery pack on the floorboard it will have motor on the front so the car purely runs on the battery as well as motor but this 1.2 liter engine will run parallel to the motor and it will generate energy and it will recharge the battery pack of that electric car so due to this the charging time of that electric car will get down and the mileage of this electric car will go on increasing so particularly many brands are working on this model and mahindra may launch first in the e 60 and xcv 90 models and recently tata has also reported that if there is a demand in india for hybrid cars they also launch hybrid cars from tata so i think many brands considering mahindra and tata will work on hybrid models because they are cost efficient the running cost will be less and basically they act like exactly an electric car so how many of you will consider to buy an hybrid car please let me know in the comments Friends, last news is from Kia. We all know that Kia launched Karen's Clavis updated facelifted model in India in May 2025. And now Kia has geared up to launch the electric variant in this Karen's Clavis on June 15. Most probably Kia is going to introduce this Karen's Clavis EV in India on June 15. Already we saw some spy images and testing shots of the same recently. So if this gets launched, it is going to be India's first seven-seater electric car considering the mass market. There is BYD Emax 7, but the price starts from 27 lakh rupees but the ic version of this kia karen's clavis starts from 11.5 lakh rupees so considering the electric conversion it may start from 18 to 19 lakh rupees so there is no seven seat or six seat electric car available in that price point and many of the indian families are looking for a budget seven seat electric car so i think there will be definitely demand for this model if it gets launched and coming to the specifications it may share the same specifications as we saw in the creta electric currently creta electric is available in two battery pack variants base variant will have 42 kilowatt hour battery top end variant will have 51.4 kilowatt hour battery base variant comes with 390 kilometers range top end variant comes with 473 kilometers range so how many of you will consider to buy this karen's clavis ev please let me know in the comments so these are some of the latest news and interesting updates from our ev industry for this week what's your opinion on this video please let me know in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric